This is my, uh, I think it's a 1974 Thunderbird uh, bass boat. It's one of the earliest styles of bass boats when they first started really coming out with bass boats. I got this free from a friend, and there's no such thing as a free boat. So I've got about maybe $3,000 worth of improvements into the free boat. So in case you're, somebody offers you a boat, be careful what you're getting because it's going to be expensive. But uh, I'll show you some of the improvements I made on it here. I painted the hull. I, well, I, I sanded down, refinished, and painted the entire hull. I patched the, the, the center line there, was ripped open from running it up on shores and things like that. So I, I patched it with fiberglass, did some fiberglass work to fix that. I added a new uh, winch cable. I added a new front uh, roller for the front of the boat. I added the front wheel thing there. I added a uh, fold back tongue on it and made the tongue a little longer. I had to put new uh, tires and buy a spare rim. Uh, I had to fix the, uh, the trailer tilt system here on the back, which actually isn't really necessary, but I fixed it anyways. I replaced a couple of the rollers underneath. I replaced the bunkers and the fabric on the bunkers or the carpet. I put lights on the front. I put a new trolling motor on it. I did some repair work on the inner floor. I put a new windshield on it. I put a fish finder on there. I had to replace the steering cable. It's starting to add up. As you can see, even a free boat takes a lot of work. So today I'm going to be replacing the windshield. I made this original windshield. The windshield is currently got, but the, the plastic on it cracked up a little bit because uh, I used some older plastic. So I've got this newer piece of uh, polycarbonate, which I'm hoping will do the job uh, and make me a new windshield for the boat. So I'm going to get on that and I'll, show, I'll give you a picture of what the old windshield looks like and then we'll see if we can make this new windshield work. <laughs> This is my uh, heat gun, it says it on the side, heat gun, which is nice. I picked this one up at Harbor Freight, it's just one of the cheap ones. But if you don't have a heat gun and you do your own projects and that sort of thing, it's an incredibly handy tool. Uh, if you're going to make anything out of PVC pipe that's not regular plumbing, a heat gun is awesome. I can turn PVC into almost anything. I've made splints for arms, you know, when my daughter broke her arm. Uh, I've made all kinds of things. i got some rod holders for the boat that I'll show you here in a minute when I go back to the boat. Uh, all kinds of different things with a heat gun. So. Very handy, you get yourself one. I'll do a lot of projects randomly with using my heat gun. But right now, I'm just gonna take the edge of this. I've drawn a line where I want the curve of the windshield is. I've made a template using the old windshield to know the angle that I want the curve to be. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up on the table here with just a little bit of space, with the line just a little bit of space outside. And I'm gonna do my best just to heat where this line is. And then when I've got it to the right temperature, I'm gonna put my ruler on it where I want and I'm going to push down on this and try and get this to bend to the angle that I want right and then I'll or maybe I'll pull up on it to get the angle because then I can match it up but either way um, I'll be able to do it that like that and so I'm just going to try and heat up this line right here <laughs>
Okay, now we've got our windshield bent basically how we want it. It might be a little thin here across the bottom. It, the, the bend took a bend a little on the inside, but I should be able to squeeze it on there. This is polycarbonate, so it's super strong. It's the same stuff they do bulletproof glass out of. So um, it should hold up really well for my boat windshield. It's tinted, which is nice instead of this clear one. And uh, so hopefully that will work out for us. I've still got the protective plastic on here. You want to leave that on until you're done shaping and uh, drilling and that sort of thing because it just, uh, it just uh, protects your glass from all the scratches you might get on it. So we're going to go over there. We're going to match it up to the thing. We're going to drill the holes and bolt it on. Before we get started here on the uh, attachment of the windshield, I wanted to show you these. These are my fishing rod holders that I made for my boat. I took the, uh, obviously it's a piece of PVC pipe, you can see. And I used the heat gun to move this around and I used a little bit, uh, you can also put it in the oven and heat it. If you want to do an entire piece of PVC, you can heat it in the oven. But I, I think these particular ones I did on it with the heat gun, I just heated it a whole piece up. But these basically, they, they click onto the side of the boat and snap in and then I can put my rods in there. So, heat guns are sweet. Now let's uh, match this windshield up, make sure it fits. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's going to fit. I've got six bolts that will hold it on, so no worries about uh, the strength of holding it on there. Yep, and so I'm going to drill one of the holes, and then uh, we will bolt the two on, and then I'll start on the next step. new windshield. If you want a new windshield for your boat and you don't want to go buy one of the stupid expensive ones, you might be able to pull it off this way. This is just a nice piece of polycarbonate. I think it's, this is eighth thick. Uh, you can go three sixteenths. I think the eighth is plenty strong and this is going to make a really good windshield for this boat. Thanks for watching.